As tongue-in-cheek as this article title intended to be, there is something to this biblical concept of ascension, but it may not be what you think. To be or not to be, what was the question? Who am I? If this has been your question, then I would like to officially welcome you to the human race. What needs to be clarified is that you know who you are. You are the I am that I am. This is not just some new flavor caption or the latest, or possibly, oldest, spiritual declaration of the times. This is a statement that holds no ego, no space and no time. This is your true identity. When you question your identity, you believe that you are less than what you are. You are never this, you are only stuck in the illusion or the dream that you are lacking in some way or another. Your personal spiritual path. Now to find true meaning behind the saying is your spiritual path. To say the words with no meaning or context is useless and is as effective as saying any prayer or affirmation like a parrot, and not feeling the words being said. We so often miss this vital point, feeling. Your work is to give juice to this phrase, I am. You do not need to find yourself because you were and are never lost. You need to rediscover who you are because you have forgotten, that's all. How you get to this point is entirely up to you. Every soul takes a unique path to their spiritual awakening and this can be fun and daunting at the same time. Now, this brings me to Ascension, the latest hot topic. Don't be fooled by the rapture. Will some be beamed off the face of the earth, possibly like the Mayan civilization, disappeared never to be seen again, or will we all die and move on to the wondrous fifth dimension that has been promised by so many prophets and soothsayers? Will the religiously righteous be taken up to heaven while the rest are left to fight out the apocalypse? Is this all just one big hoax or money-making scheme? They do seem like rather strange questions don't they? But believe it or not, they are being asked. We are looking outside ourselves for answers and we want them fast. Some were even led to believe that the 21st of December 2012 was going to be the date. Now here's how I understand this cosmic rapturing conundrum. Could love be key to the ascension? Ascension could just be a state of elevating yourself into a different level of consciousness and in my humble opinion, is not a physical event. This is a lateral and not a literal experience. What has love got to do with it? Let's examine the question, that Tina Turner has been asking for decades, more closely. Firstly, fear is the catalyst for being in an eternal karma drama. I say eternal because many believe that if you don't break the pattern of fear, it will lead to the inevitable cycle of karma, cause and effect loop of loops. You will be doing it again if you don't learn this time around, etc etc. I don't see this as some form of punishment, I think our higher selves are the commanding officers and the only entity responsible for dishing out any kind of judgment will be you. I believe that every one of us is an immortal and divine spiritual being having a rather fleshy physical experience. Overcome the illusion of fear and your world will change. Love is the reality, love may be the very thing that will nullify all our fears. Let's see if Miss Turner can be persuaded to agree. So your job is to examine fear, pick it apart, understand it and then pop that fricking illusion. I believe we are God sovereign beings who are capable of anything. Trust your gut instinct. Your discernment is the key factor in outing your darkness. Only you know what cobwebs are lurking in the deep caverns of your soul, only you can dust those corners and expose them to the light. If some fears need facing head on, then do it. If some need therapy, then do it. If some need deep reflection and meditation, then do it. No more excuses. If you are making excuses, for whatever reasons you have, be very sure that you are fully aware that your excuses are your choices. If you choose to excuse yourself from your lessons, then I expect you'll be in for another round on the wheel of karma, your choice. 
some people take longer to pull finger than others, this applies to lifetimes too, you know. So, maybe it's appropriate that some will sit this round out and not achieve full enlightenment in this lifetime, there will be other lifetimes to slug it out, again, your choice. If you are a go-getter, then why not make it this lifetime? As Yoda said, do or do not, there is no try. But the bottom line to this bollocking is that you must be responsible for your choices. No one else is responsible for you. If this is your mindset you are in for rude awakening. No pun intended. I am that I am. Now let's get back to ascension. Ascension, to me, is embodying your experience here on earth by knowing at a deep soul level your I am presence, being resolute about who you are. Accepting what is and always knowing when to take appropriate loving action when there is something you can change. Understanding that unconditional love holds the answer to all problems, there is no problem without a solution. Finding the compassion in any situation and forgiving freely. Giving freely with no attachment. Seeing divinity and mass, with no exceptions. Knowing, at all times, that there is some kind of divine order and timing. Knowing you are a part of the entire system called life. Therefore stepping into unity consciousness. Honoring all life, in whatever shape or form, including self, animal, vegetable, mineral, yada yada. Being comfortably in the world but not of it. There is a peace that comes with this acceptance. If you are fighting what is, conflict will be your life. Accept what is and watch how life just flows like it should, when you trust in the universe quantum field, God, which I believe is you, for those who think this is blasphemy, go ahead, but you're divine anyway, things will fit into place effortlessly and magically. If you do feel this then when you are faced with a fear-based situation, be the calm presence. How do you want to see this situation turn out? Then focus on that, solution focusing instead of problem focusing, and truly feel into the solution. See it play out in your third eye and know it is so. Even if this situation means death, all you have to do is state the I am that I am. If you die in fear, you may very well generate a lesson that you will have to walk through again, yup, the good old karma drama. If you die stating and knowing in your heart that you are the divine, then you have accepted mastery. You are in dharma or nirvana. There simply is no ceasing to exist, even if you do leave your body behind. If you ascend with or without your body state the I am that I am. Your only job is to make sure you know what you are stating, and that it is felt in your heart. Be sovereign over your body and soul. The Heart Chakra When you are faced with fear, try to concentrate your energy on your heart center. Feel your heart swell with love and gratitude for whatever brings you these feelings in your life, whether it be your children, grandchildren, pets, friends, anything that brings you joy and feelings of elation, this is how you will elevate yourself into a different frequency. Now expand that feeling. Practice this over and over again until you can switch on the sensation of immense love whenever you have to. When you send out love and light to the world or to anyone or anything, make sure you are feeling the love in your heart center, chakra. This makes it more potent and it will bring more of that feeling back to you, so it's a win-win situation. When you love, there simply is no space left for fear. You will be on a different vibratory plane. Fear won't fit anymore. Truth be told. I read a channeled message saying that we need to speak our truths. If you don't speak your truth for fear of what people may think of you, you are not ready. That resonated with me and I am now fully motivated to stand up and say it like it is, and if people think I'm a blaspheming nutter, well, why the hell not? I am proud to stand up at AA, Abnormal Anonymous, although not quite so anonymous anymore, and say, hi. My name is Sherry and I am completely abnormal. But hey, I am that I am.
The ascension is the awakening to your divine self, the knowledge that you are God and the acceptance that everything has divine order and purpose. In order to do this, you must also see this divinity and mass, in everyone and everything. How can peace and love not triumph with this attitude? Go out and be divine little sausages.